If history repeats itself, Baltimore could be in for another violent weekend. Last Memorial Day weekend saw a total of eight homicides. So what are police doing to prepare? Keith Daniels joins us live with that story. Keith. Well, Mary, police told us much of the gun violence that we saw over Memorial Day weekend last year was fueled by repeat violent offenders, and some of it was retaliatory violence. And tonight, one expert tells us why those holiday shootings happen so frequently. In Baltimore City, some residents are bracing for what could be... The crimes have went up a lot. Another violent Memorial Day weekend. I'm not going to be out here. Last year, the city saw nearly a dozen people killed in shootings over Memorial Day weekend, including Stephen Clark Sr., a 60-year-old man gunned down outside of his home on Norfolk Avenue. Back on Clark's block tonight. It was hurtful, sad. Neighbors remember the man and the violence that struck on what was supposed to be a weekend of celebration. Now, one year later, Memorial Day weekend is upon us again. And neighbors are hoping the block this year won't be bloody. You never know. Like, and it's like, if crowds around and stuff, who want to be around and anything is possible to go on? So I'd rather me and my kids go somewhere elsewhere. Memorial Day weekend in Baltimore has often seen violence, some years with mass shootings, most recently in 2016, when five people were shot during a cookout outside a North Baltimore home. Work with me for a long time. Dr. Jeffrey you know, Ian these, Ross. These kind of weekends tend to be uh, more violent. A criminologist at the University of Baltimore on what might make Memorial Day such a violent holiday. These are all times when there's an uh, increased number of people who are gathering, uh, a, more alcohol flowing, and uh, people's inhibitions are lowered, and uh, it's uh, more opportunities for conflicts, and some of those conflicts lead to uh, violence, and some of that violence is uh, gun violence. Scary thoughts for neighbors who simply want peace and police protection. It's every day you hearing killings here, 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 or seeing it. I'm curious of what they have in place. What the, what's the next plan? Because what they have in, plan, in place right now is not working. Well, we reached out to Baltimore Police to, one of the things we wanted to know is what plan do they have in place for this holiday weekend? For example, will there be more police officers put on the streets, beefed up patrols, that kind of thing? So far tonight, no response. We're live tonight. Keith Daniels, Fox 45 News.